Hey Polish peeps, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. So happy to have you join me today. Um, this is the very first Polish pickup wish list video of 2022 for January Polish pickup. And I'm super excited to share with you guys my wish list. I actually didn't do too bad this time. I think I have 13 on here, maybe 13. That's not including any items that I really haven't even looked at those too closely this time. Um, I will let you guys know, I am super excited. I'm getting married in August this year. So for that reason, I am going to be seriously limiting my polish pickup orders in an attempt to save money, at least up until my wedding date, which is August 6th. Yes, so excited, but also it's very, very soon. So. Having said that, I will not be purchasing too many polishes from Polish Pickup. I'm going to bless, try to limit my purchases to three. Um, I did actually swatch 10 polishes for January Polish Pickup, and um, that also helps me narrow down my um, choices for buying because a lot of the polishes that I probably would have bought, I actually swatched this month and actually last month too. So that may help me a little bit when it comes to decreasing the amount of polish that I buy for polish pickup. Um, if you're not aware of what polish pickup is, it is a um, collaboration that goes live the first Friday of every month of indie polish makers and they design a polish based on a common theme. This month's theme is... Oh, I was getting this wrong. Um... <laughs> I can't remember spices and condiments. I believe it's spices and condiments. We're going to go with that. Um, and they change every month. So um, you can look forward to having a special edition polish designed every month based on that theme. Um, it goes live the first Friday of every month and runs, wait, the first Friday of every month at 10 a.m. Central and runs to the following Monday um, at 11.59 Central Time. Um, there is a flat rate shipping fee. I think it's $5. I always forget because it, it went up recently, but that is to say if you make multiple purchases, you will be refunded your shipping amount. Um, let's see, what else do I need to let you guys know? If there is a capped number of polishes, that basically means that the maker is going to make that number of bottles and then once those are gone, those are gone. So if you want those polishes, highly suggest you get in there and snag those first if you have a um, capped polish on your wish list. Um, what else do I need to let you guys know? There's probably something else. I always leave something out. I will try to link information about Polish Pickup below along with the uh, website where you can go and uh, go to Polish. You guys, it's late. <laughs> My brain is not working. I will also link the um, Polish Pickup website so you guys can go and make your purchases and make your wish list. It's currently Thursday. I'm a huge procrastinator and I will probably be putting this video up early on Friday morning. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to view the polishes that are on my wish list before you make your final decisions and add to cart. Um, yeah, let's get ready. To, let's go ahead and get started talking about the polishes because I could go on for a really long time and I'm tired. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. I have made some changes, which I always do um, because I watched a polish review for somebody else. It's a huge mistake every time. I always regret it because I'm like, okay, I've got to add this one. I've got to add this one. Um, I really didn't have that many on my wish list this time, which was surprising to me um, initially. And then I watched a review video and probably added four polishes after that. So yeah, that's what had happened there. But let's go ahead and get started talking about the polishes. The first one on my wish list is Paradox Polish. And, oh, so it's Paradox Polish and Soap Company. I always thought it was just Paradox Polish, so that's new to me. This is, y'all, these names, I'm probably going to mispronounce a bunch of them because 
I um, struggle with pronunciations, so that is sometimes an issue. Um, trying to just figure out who's trying to get into my room at this moment. But anyway, oh, it's my cat. <laughs> Like, which one is it? Is it a cat or a human? It's a cat. <laughs> um, so this is Crocus Sativus. And in parentheses at the end is Saffron. I have no idea what... We're just going to read the description so then maybe you guys will... Um, enlighten me that this is inspired by the beautiful flowers called crocus sativus. It's a beautiful violet in color. It also is a flower that saffron is harvested from. That makes completely logical sense. And I just completely screwed up <laughs> pronunciation of that name. Anyway, so it is described as a violet purple with red, orange, pink, iridescent flakes and scattered hollow. There's no cap. It will be priced at $13. You guys, I really didn't even have this one on my radar, but I'm not even sure why. Like, what was wrong with me? Oh my gosh, look how pretty this purple is. Um, if you're new to my channel, you may not be aware. Purple is my jam. If you are a frequent flyer of my channel, you are well aware that I love all things purple polish. You guys, I'm actually going to, I think sign off of here and then sign back on using the oh my gosh oh, this is so pretty i feel like i have something similar to this since i am decreasing the number of polishes that i buy for polish pickup i feel like it's going to be really basically up to how unique it is to my channel um, actually and i just thought of another one that's not on my wish list that i want to add <laughs> um and that's going to be my deciding factor i feel like um which is going to make it very, very difficult because if you guys are not aware, this one looks amazing matte too. I have a very large polish collection. Um, so being aware of what I have is an issue for me. A lot of times I will purchase polishes that I already have, not remembering that I had already previously purchased said polish. So, um... We'll try to keep from doing that moving forward. I'm trying to sign into um, the website. Hold, please. If I can remember my login. I have so many passwords. <laughs> Apparently that is not it. <laughs> this is a problem that I have quite often. I feel like I had this problem logging in before, though. Oh, I'm going to get it right. Oh, hold on. I think I know what it is. Fingers crossed. Oh, I can't look. <laughs> okay, back to plan A. We're just going to go with the original plan. Um, and for some reason it keeps saying I have 32 on my wish list and I don't. I'm like, it's not 32 on there. Anyway, Paradox Polish and Soap Company, Crocus Sativus. We're going to say that's what it is. Crocus Sativus, price of $13 with no cap. So if you are all about purple polishes, you might want to snag that one. I do have some Paradox Polish. Um, what was it before it was Paradox Polish? Was it Necessary Evil? You guys... May remember the previous name was rebranded, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yes, I have a few of those and really good formulas. At the risk of sounding redundant, which I normally do. Polish pickup, there's hardly ever is there a bad formula. Just based on what you want. Sometimes you may get a formula that's a little sheer, you know. Sometimes you may get one that's a little thick or whatever but there's always something for everybody on polish pickup just depends on what you're looking for me it's purple so next i have moonshine manny another purple polish this is star baker inspired by the great british baking show like so if you don't know anything about the maker phoebe she 
really loves the Great British Baking Show to the point that she raved about it and I have yet to try to find it and watch it, but I really want to because she says it's so good. Um, so it says, inspired by the Great British Baking Show and the creativity of contestants and all their interesting recipes and ingredients, Star Baker is a solar polish that shifts violet indoors to deep violet in the sun with a strong pink to red glow, hollow mac micro flakies, and iridescent pink to, or to orange flakies. There is a cap of 200 on this one. Excuse me, it'll be priced at $12.50. Um, I don't have, I mean, I don't have any solar polishes in my collection. So this one definitely would be one unique to my collection. And y'all, it's so pretty. And it's purple. Look how gorgeous that is. I am totally intrigued in having this one in my collection just because, you know, like, I don't have one. And it's purple and it's beautiful and if you don't have any moonshine mini polishes which i have a lot of them i did not purchase a lot of moonshine mini this year particularly just because i was drawn to other polishes but bb's um formulas are always really good those flakies are oh, so pretty um i like the the transitional shade of this one gorgeous um her formulas are always really good I have not been disappointed with any of her polishes that I've purchased in the past, even though I wasn't um, necessarily purchasing a lot from her in 2021. But if you haven't tried a Moonshine, Moonshine Mini Polish, highly recommend. You guys are going to hear me say that over and over again because I highly recommend all of these indie brands because they are freaking amazing. And I'm all about the polish. So, <laughs> so I'm always going to be highly recommending all these uh amazing makers to you guys but definitely consider picking this one up if you also do not have a solar purple polish in your collection you might want to snag this one again priced at $12.50 with a cap of $200. Um, next I have Cuticula. This one was also not on my radar which I don't even understand why because recently Cuticula came out with this collection and it was like um shattered glass uh kind of flakies and different color bases and i snagged a bunch of those from that collection um when i originally looked at this picture i didn't realize that they were the same flakies and then i looked again and i was like holy crap those are the same flakies i love those polishes have not had a chance to try them they still remain untried but they are so beautiful and i feel like i need that formula in like every shade possible so, of course, I had to put that one on my wish list, and this is Cuticula Chip Chip Hooray, priced at $13. It is inspired by Tostitos Salsa, <laughs> which I think is funny. Chip Chip Hooray Violet Plum Jelly Base with Glass Flakes and Purple Red, Blue Green, Orange Gold. Y'all, these flakies. So gorgeous. So pretty. And I cannot wait to try these. I feel like they're going to be more like um, polishes I would probably wear in like the spring and summertime. Although knowing me, I may find a reason or an occasion or whatever to wear them whenever I want to because I wear what I want. But these flakies, you guys, oh my gosh, they just get me. They totally get me and... When you add this just like glossy top coat to it or even matte it up, this is going to look amazing. So super excited about that it, again. Highly recommend Cuticula as a brand, amazing formulas, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> All the things you've heard me say a million times before. If you watch my channel, if not, this might be new and just be aware. I will say all of these things multiple times in my polished pickup reviews. Um, speaking of reviews up on my channel as well, there is a review of the 10 polishes that I swatched for this month's polish pickup. If you guys want to check that out, see if you want to add those to your wish list. Um, definitely check out my review on those polishes. Um, so yeah, this is Cuticula Chip Chip Hooray, priced at $13 and there's no cap on that one. Um, next is Wildflower Lacquer. This is Wild Hibiscus. I don't think this has a cap this month, which I'm super excited about because 
I feel like Wildflower Lacquer is one of those brands that just sells out every time. It just does. And you guys are going to see when I show you guys these pictures exactly why it sells out every time. Um, this is Wild Hibiscus inspired by Wild Hibiscus Flowers and Syrup. It is a purple base. No, a plum base with red to gold to green shifting shimmer scattered and linear hollow. Y'all, I love this formula that um wildflower lacquer does she just knocks it out of the park every time with this formula um and the linear your hollow in this is just ugh, freaking stunning um you can definitely see that linear hollow popping through in these pictures <sighs> it's gonna make it very hard for me to decide to not get this polish because quite honestly wildflower lacquer has been a favorite brand of mine this year and i've been purchasing a lot of polishes from wildflower lacquer feeling like i have to have everything she comes out with so it will be very difficult to take this one off of my wish list although i am almost 100 percent sure i have something similar to this in my collection but it's so pretty so pretty and this is just my jam like these plum bases or like a burgundy base or anything in the purple family base my jam and add some hollow and I'm like yes bring it sold add to cart so that's wild hibiscus $13 no cap and you guys are gonna want to snag it FYI polish for days English lavender again purple guys I cannot get away from the purple well I do get away from the purple a little bit here in a little bit you'll see um, this one is inspired by lavender. It's a lavender purple base packed with holographic microflakes, gold green iridescent shimmer, and gold metallic iridescent flakes. There's no cap on this one. Polish for Days, another amazing brand. Um, also one that I purchased and still do kind of purchase a lot from. Um, I have been loving some specific brands this year and so they've kind of taken a forefront in front of polish for days but still it's still amazing and if you don't have a polish for days polish and want to try this brand again highly recommend go ahead and ask me how many times i'm going to say that in this video <laughs> it's going to be a bunch but um this is lavender base it's just so pretty in those flakies oh my gosh y'all look how pretty this is this is priced again at $13 um, and Polish for Days normally doesn't have a cap and that's no exception this time. There's no cap on this one. Y'all, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, I feel like I have something close to this in my collection. Um, maybe <laughs> this is, this is why this... I mean, these swatchers also kill it, making me want to buy all the polish. And I'm a swatcher, and I don't feel that way about my own swatches. <laughs> but I hope you guys feel that way about them. I hope those uh, swatches that you see of mine make you feel like you need to buy all the polish because that's, you know, the intent, of course. But, oh my gosh. Stunning. So pretty. I love the way that this one just, it's like flashing off of the nails. It's just like, here I am, look at me. I love a polish that draws attention to my nails because let's face it, we spend a lot of time on our nails on these manis. We definitely wanna draw attention to them, especially if you're doing you know, hours of nail art or stamping or whatever, you want people to notice. So definitely I'm all about polishes that are just like bling, 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 bling. Um, so if you have not tried polish for days, you might want to pick up English Lavender for $13. There's no cap. So even if you decide, let's say, on Sunday that you want to go back and get it, you didn't purchase it when you made your first order, you can always go back and pick it up and not charge, you know, not be charged additional shipping to pick it up. Um, the next one is MJ Lacquer Tears of Joy. Oh, and I'm so excited about this one. Um, MJ Lacquer just recently started... Um, well, I say recently, she's been doing it for, you know, maybe three or four months now, but just started participating in, um, polish pickup and y'all, I, 
This is so cute. I'm loving this so much. So this is Tears of Joy, um, priced at $11.50, and it is inspired by delicious red onions. I must admit, I don't really like onions, nor think they are delicious um, in any way, form, or fashion. I will sometimes eat them and saute. Never mind. Y'all don't need to know all of that. Let's just <laughs> move on with the description. Um, this is a white curly with red aurora shimmer, red hollow glitters, and red bronze copper ultra chrome chameleon flakes. There's only 130 of these available, you guys. So if you have not tried to MJ Lecker uh, polish, I did swatch for her for quite some time. She was one of the first makers that I swatched for. Janet is the sweetest. And her formulas, oh my gosh, y'all so beautiful look how amazing that looks i love the way this one looks matte and um you know normally well i say you know but you probably don't know if you're just watching me for the first time but i've said it before multiple times white polishes do not tug at me um but add some gorgeous flakies and you know some shimmer some something else going on and i'm just like sold completely sold um y'all i'm really excited about this one i think this one would look amazing on me matted up and i can honestly say i don't have anything like this in my collection i feel like i'm having a deja vu moment like this like maybe i said that before in a previous video like those exact words i can honestly say i don't have anything like this in my collection <laughs> And I was probably lying then too. I, you know, it's highly likely. But I love the way this one looks um, glossy and matte. So, y'all, I'm gonna have a hard time not trying to snag this one because it's so pretty. But with only 130 available, if you guys are interested in it, I have a feeling this one's gonna sell out. I really do feel like it's it's gonna sell out very quickly. Um, I'm just like I just have a feeling. And I might participate in the selling out of this one. <laughs> anyway, I digress. KB Shimmer, um, Say It Ain't Cilantro. I really like cilantro. Like, I wish, y'all, I cannot stay on track. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay, Ebony, back on track. Um, Price is $11 by KB Shimmer, another marvelous brand that you guys need to try if you have not. And obviously, inspired by cilantro, it is a fun herb green polish loaded with a blend of reflective pigments and low lighting, a deep, almost cilantro leaf green hue. Subtly, subtly, subtly catches the light for a muted twinkle. In bright light or with flash, the color is, mm, vivifies. I guess, showing off a bold and sparkly lime hue. Indoors or out, this shade is a must-have for green lovers. Best in two coats without a top coat. This shade is textured, but will smooth out with one to two coats of top coat. I personally am not a green lover, but I have re recently become a um, reflective polish lover. We'll say that. I am not particularly drawn by this polish in its, um, I guess, darker green shade. But <laughs> I am all about some reflective polishes, you guys. I don't know why. They're just really calling to me. And it's not like you can see the reflective um, qualities in like regular lighting. So I don't know why they call to me, but I love them. I feel like I need a reflective polish in every color. Like I need a whole, and you guys can't see my walls right now. You can only see this wall behind me, but I have a, like polish rack on this wall, polish rack on this wall, polish rack over here. Like I need a whole wall like dedicated to reflective polishes. Mm. Y'all. So pretty. I don't even know what it is. Like, what is it? Not everybody is drawn to reflective polishes. I feel like it's kind of like a, either you like them or you don't kind of thing. Um, and not everybody is just like, yay, reflective. But I am. <laughs> I don't know. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous on long nails, gorgeous on short nails. 
amazing matte, KB shimmer, <sighs> gorgeous formulas, um, another amazing brand, highly recommend again. And KB shimmer normally has a pretty consistent price of $11. I can't even think of a time when it's gone above $11 for a 15 milliliter bottle. So, I mean, that's a really good deal um, for a KB Shimmer polish because they're just amazing. She knocks it out of the park, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time. So definitely consider picking that one up if you don't have a green reflective polish in your collection yet. Now might be the time to acquire one. This is Jen and Berry's What Did the Mama Tomato Say to Her Little One? Such a cute name. Price at $12.50. And obviously there is um, some inspiration from a tomato uh, inspired by ketchup with ground black pepper mixed in. Funny story, my fiance actually, every time we go to a restaurant and have um, french fries she mixes like a ton of black pepper and salt in her um in her ketchup and that's like her fry dip and i thought that was really strange but oddly enough it's really good <laughs> i was like what have i been doing all my life why have i not done this completely understand now it is so good you guys in case you've never tried that highly recommend you try ground pepper and salt in your ketchup as your fry dip anyway medium deep red with black and red metallic flakies and holographic micro flakies 200 um, bottle cap on this one i don't have too many from this brand but that's also something that's drawing me because i feel like i need to experience this brand more i do like to support oh, it's also beautiful <laughs> i do like to support um any brands that i haven't tried before um i may have one polish similar but definitely not super close to this there it is matte um so yeah i'm i'm drawn to this i'm totally digging it and oh there it is with some cute uh nail art on it mm, so cute um yeah so and that is Jen and Barry's What Did the Mama Tomato Say to Her Little One? I might have to purchase it on the principle of the name alone because that's so cute. I know you guys do that. Purchase polishes based on the name. I do that quite often. I'm a sucker for a cute, adorable name for a polish. Again, 200 bottle cap on that one. Um, priced at $12.50. This next one I'm not so sure about because when I saw it swatched on another YouTuber's channel, I still like it, but I might have decided to pass on this one, but it's still really pretty. This is Fair Maiden Tajin Queen. I think I'm saying that right. Priced at $11.50. Tajin Queen is inspired by Tajin Spice, specifically on mangoes. Yum. I may not be saying that right. I may not, but um, it is good on mangoes. I have tried it, and actually it's good on several other things too. Um, my fiance is Mexican, and she likes that seasoning a lot on a lot of things, so it is yummy. Um, a bright and fruity orange-yellow neon with red micro flake, finished with subtle, oh, that's what that word is, not subtle, <laughs> subtle, pink yellow aurora shimmer um two to three coats for opacity this is so pretty guys when i saw this um i can't on facebook maybe it was either facebook or instagram i was like i've got to have it um i think one of the things that deterred me is that it was mentioned that it is kind of sheer and i do have long nails right now and it was mentioned that you may need more than three coats which i never do more than three coats but i'm also not afraid to let a little bit of visible nail line shine through just because i am one that has a very prominent nail line it's very hard to hide sometimes even in three coats 
um, without a nail blurring base coat. So for that reason, oh, it's so pretty though. I may pass, but it's so pretty. I also feel like maybe I could, well, maybe not. I was going to say I could maybe duplicate this with a topper, but I don't have a red glitter topper. I could do the orange neon, but yeah, the flakies I cannot duplicate. So such hard decisions, y'all. I hate that we have to make them. I just want all the polish. Not that I need polish I don't I literally right now I'm sitting here looking at the polish that I have out that I have not um put away have not been able to haul for you guys have not been able to put on swatch sticks I'm looking at it like I'm literally looking at it and still like oh give me all the polish what is wrong with me <laughs> I don't know I've accepted it though so you know we accept the things about ourselves we cannot change. Fair Maiden, Taj and Queen, priced at $11.50. Next, I have Dreamland Lacquer, Sage Advice. Y'all, this is so pretty. And it's very unique shade to me in my collection. Um, it is inspired by White Sage. Sage Advice is a pale sage green base filled with hollow flakes and aurora shimmer that shifts from red to gold to green. Um, there's 375 bottles available. Y'all, this is such a pretty color. I really love this color, um, and it is unique to my collection. The only thing that I, that makes me kind of hesitate in purchasing it is that I don't feel like it's one that I will particularly draw from or like be pulled to wear, you know, when I'm choosing polishes to wear. That is super unique. I love the way this looks on the nail. Like, I don't have anything like this. Which is why it's on my wish list. I might change my mind. <laughs> Look how pretty. Y'all. I don't... I don't even know. I don't have anything like this. Okay, Ebony, you gotta get it together because you can only buy three polishes. Anyway, if you do not have a Dreamland Lacquer polish in your collection, again, highly recommend. Really good formulas. Um, price at $12.00. With a 375 bottle cap on that one. Mm, so pretty. This next one is Caloris de Carol, the Captain. Um, again, based on um, the fact that I don't have anything like this in my collection is what's drawing me to this one in particular. Inspired by Old Spice Aftershave Lotion. Also, my uh, fiance wears Old Spice sometimes and it smells really good. Um, a light taupe gray curly with red periwinkle and silver glitters there's no cap on this one um uh, course carol another y'all i hope y'all don't get mad at me and stop watching my videos because i repeat stuff all the time i can't help it it's the truth y'all look how pretty so pretty um i might be able to talk myself out of this because it, it is a little sheer i love a curly formula it looks like, it's just, I love those formulas that, like, plump up on the nails and look just, like, fat and juicy. Like, I'm wearing one right now. This is, ooh, Swamp Gloss. I think it's Swamp Gloss. Um, and look how plump it is on the nails, y'all. So pretty. I love this type of formula that's, like, you know, self-levels, and then it just goes bloop, and you're just like, yes. So pretty. Um, and it looks like this one does that. Clarissa Carol again, amazing formulas. Um, really, really nice brand. Um, and she does a variety of finishes and formulas and colors and glitters and just really good um, indie brand to try if you have not tried her before. Um, and there is no cap on this one, so you guys might want to snag that one. I might want to snag that one. <laughs> I want to snag all of these. Oh my gosh. This one's not coming off. This is Caddy Lacquer Spice Sook. So now I'm down to two. Y'all got to narrow down to two polishes. That's ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm going to live my life narrowing down to two polishes. But this one, so pretty. Priced at $13.50. It is inspired by a picture from the 
Dubai Spice Sook. I don't know what, I don't, I, I don't know. A deep purple when cold to blue violet when warm to lilac pink when hot tri-thermal with matte neon blue glitter in different sizes. Um, there's no cap on this one. Y'all, I love a tri-glitter, but normally my nails are not long enough to represent all three um, transitional colors, but they are right now, and they probably will not stay this long. And they're only long on, on my swatch hand, not on my Cindy hand, because this one is... Oh, I just realized I lost my polish on this nail. <laughs> anyway, my nails are... A little bit shorter on my right hand for whatever reason they're just like my left hand is just like yes we're growing and my right one's like mm, not so much um but yeah this this is I love y'all love 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 these three shades together on the nail oh my gosh I am in love I'm in love I'm in love if I was gonna marry a polish this might be it actually I would be married to a bunch of polishes in my collection Oh, I would be so married. I love so many polishes, y'all. This is just, I can't even get over how pretty this is. God, I'm getting this. Sold. Add to cart. I can't even stop looking at it. Y'all get like that? Like, you can't even stop looking at it, and I don't even have it. And it's like, oh. So glad there's no cap on this one because, y'all. Mm. Gorgeous. Um, if you... Do not have a Cadillac or polish in your collection. I highly recommend that you try a Cadillac or polish, amazing formulas, yada yada yada. $13.50 with no cap. Spice Sook. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> this is by Vanessa Molina, Dark Opal. I have been loving Vanessa Molina's um, magnetic polishes this year. I purchased several of them through Polish Pickup. This one's priced at $13, inspired by Purple Basil, which I have never even seen. Didn't even know Basil came purple. Shows what I know. By Vanessa Molina brings this month dark opal, a dark violet jelly base with multi-chrome, magnetic pigment, and reflective glitter. There are 500 bottles available, so probably have a good chance of snagging it if you want this one. I do not have a reflective magnetic polish. Y'all, it has reflective glitter and it's magnetic. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> so pretty. It's just giving me all of this like love and affection and just like calling me. Polish calls me. I don't know about y'all, but it calls me. Look at those reflective glitters. So pretty. Um, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so pretty, you guys. It's, and it's my favorite colors, like all in one polish. Like it's pulling. The magnetic pigment is blue and purple. And then it's got that scattering of reflect and ah. Oh. Okay, back to reality. I may be able to talk myself out of this one because it's $13. Vanessa Molina, their bottles are only 11 milliliters, so it's a teeny tiny bottle. Teeny, teeny, tiny for $13. Might be worth it, but also not necessarily a must-have. It is not the only magnetic. Listen to me trying to talk myself out of it. Reflective polishes. Magnetic reflective polish on the planet. It may be right now, but other makers will probably make one that I love just as much. We're going to go with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. $13. Lure Lacquer Spice Spice Baby. Oh God. Now that I'm looking at my wish list again, I'm realizing how difficult making this choice really is going to be. Um, I mean, it's going to be incredibly hard. This is inspired by Chili Pepper. Priced at $12. A Hot Chili Pepper Red Shattered Hollow. Not extremely unique to my collection, so possibly I could pass it up. However, Bluebird Lacquer does these shattered hollow um, formulas so dang good. Like, seriously, 
She kills it. They're all good. I have several in several different colors in this formula, and every time she comes out with one that I don't have, I'm like, oh, gotta have it. Like, I don't have a red one. I don't. <laughs> and they're so good. Um, however, maybe at some point in time in the future, she will come out with something similar to this red in this formula that I will be equally as happy with. <sighs> trying to talk myself down, y'all. Trying to talk myself down. Very hard. Priced at $12 with no cap. That is Bluebird Lacquer Spice Spice Baby. Next and last, but not least, I have Atomic Polish not so stellar blue priced at twelve dollars atomic polish is also another brand that has really been drawing me in i have purchased several recently i purchased quite a few of them at the polish expo back in july I have not had a chance to wear them but um so pretty i'm really excited about wearing more atomic polish because they've just been like yelling at me recently especially through polish pickup um, so this is inspired by blue ketchup. Y'all, is blue ketchup a thing? <laughs> I didn't even know. Anyway, a royal blue base polish with color shifting shimmer that shifts from aqua blue to royal blue. It is also filled with royal blue and silver holographic micro glitters. It's opaque in two coats and there's no cap. I don't know specifically what it is drawing this drawing me to this polish i think it's the color blue that it is like the shade of blue is really pretty um oh my gosh it's so pretty gorgeous i honestly can't say if i do or don't have this particular shade of blue in my in my collection i probably have something close i can pass this up i really can i am going to try to talk myself into passing it up because wow gorgeous this micro shot is just everything um and there's no cap but i can pass it up however if you cannot if you love this polish as much as i do and you don't have an atomic polish in this shade in your collection highly recommend all of that <laughs> priced at 12 dollars. definitely want to try to pick that up if you guys are not aware, Polish Pickup also has other items, many other items like jewelry and um, body care stuff, sometimes makeup, uh, like clothes items, all kinds of things are also offered on the Polish Pickup site by these same makers. Um, and you want to check those out. Um, base coats, you know, top coats, uh, special toppers, um, cuticle oils body cream, uh, wax melts, all kinds of things. Definitely check those things out because they are always unique. You know, you're not going to be able to find them in stores. So definitely want to see if that's something that you would like to pick up in addition to your 25 polish pickup polishes. <laughs> the struggle. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on the very first polish pickup of 2022. I hope you guys are having a halfway decent start to your year. It's already crazy with COVID um, in my area. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Um, again, I will post as much information about polish pickup below in the description box. Um, if you guys have anything to chat about, let me know what you guys have on your wish list. Um, let me know what you think I should get. I always enjoy chatting with you guys about Polish Pickup and all of the beautiful things that we are going to miss out on because we have to make these choices that are very difficult. Um, but always, you know, super fun to chit chat with you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you are not subscribed to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. We talk about all the nail polish related things and... I would love to have you join me on a regular basis. Hit the notification bell so that you can see when I post videos in the future because who knows when I am only consistent with certain videos. Other ones I just throw in there whenever. Um, but I would love to have you join me and give it a thumbs up and um, 
as always, you guys are amazing. I love all of you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.